Hey, do you remember the days when you had two separate phones, one for work, one for at home, and it was easy to keep everything separate? Today, most people use their mobile phone and they choose to carry it everywhere. This results in a hectic environment where you endure frequent interruptions, whether it's from your phone or your apps. But there is a better way. I'm going to show you how you can achieve a healthy balance by creating different focus settings depending on your routines and how this will help you stay focused. Stay tuned to the end where I'll be sure to throw in some bonus tips. But let's get started. Apple made it a lot easier to switch the focus setting with iOS 18. Let me show you how you can set up focus settings and how you can easily switch. Let's start by looking at your focus settings. To do that, open up settings, scroll down to focus, and you'll see a list of focus settings. Now I have a lot of different focus settings depending on my activities. You might only have one or you might have none. I suggest most people have at least three, one for personal, one for sleep, one for driving. Now you see I have all these focus settings and I can easily choose one uh, by sliding down on my control center. And I've already added focus to my control center. It's right here. And when I have it, I can easily scroll and change to a different focus. Another way you can easily change focus settings is by deciding to have your action button, which is a top button on the newer iPhones. If you choose to have your action button control the focus settings, then when you press it, you can easily go right into a focus mode that you need. For example, if you want to easily change to do not disturb, you can set the action button up for do not disturb. So while I'm in do not disturb, I won't be interrupted by any notifications, none at all. Another focus that I have set up is personal. Then I have one for work. I have one for sleep. I have one for fitness. I have one for driving, gaming, and filming. With iOS 18, Apple has added a reduce interruptions focus that's automatically there, which just limits uh, notifications to things that the iPhone has decided you need to see. So these are the focuses that I've created for me. Each focus has different settings. To customize any focus, press on the three dots on the right. I can easily switch to work for one hour if I want to. I can, I can individualize each focus in settings. I can allow intelligent breakthrough of alerts, which means any notifications that my iPhone decides I must have right away, they'll come through, but nothing else. I have chosen not to have any people interrupt my workflow. I have chosen a few apps, calendar, mail, messages, and another line of phone. Then I've also customized my screen. Another benefit of having different focus modes is that each focus has a different home screen and a different layout. You can also choose in different focus modes not to see all of the pages. My personal focus, I might have 10 home screens, but for driving, I don't want to see all of them. Maybe I just have one screen available and this is where you can edit it. I can also have my focus mode be activated in a smart way through smart activation. I can also add a schedule if I know my schedule is the same every day. And I can also add more filters. If you change your mind and you don't want to focus, you can delete it very easily down there. I have sleep focus. For sleep focus, um, I've allowed a few people to break through but no apps, and I've also customized my screen. Now for every single focus I have, I've spent time thinking about which apps I would be okay with interruptions from and which people I'd be okay with calls from. And this helps me stay much more organized. So how do you go about getting a focus? There's a few ways. In settings on the top right is a plus sign, and that's how I can add a focus. Another way to add a focus is if you're in the control center already, just tap on any focus and slide to the bottom and you'll see the same plus sign. Let's go ahead and add a focus. I'm going to press plus for new focus and it's going to ask me, well, what do you want? Do you want a custom focus, a mindfulness focus or a reading focus? So let's do one for reading. Let's see how that works. Customize focus. I can choose which people can come through, which apps can come through and customize my screens. 
I can set a schedule just as I said before, and I can add filters. So let's go ahead and start. Here's where you can either choose to silence notifications from specific apps or only allow notifications from specific apps. I don't want to have any notifications from anybody except my reminder. In my reminders, that's it. I've said allow notification from reminders. I press done. Options, silence notifications. I can have them show on my lock screen or not. I can hide the notification ba badges so that I don't see them. Dim my lock screen is useful if I really don't want to be interrupted. Uh, so there's my reading focus. Now, if I don't want it to be red, I can edit here and I can choose another color. I can choose another picture. Right now there's already a book there, so that sounds good. Um, I think uh, I'll keep it the color that is there because I'm not using that color yet. And there I have another focus and you'll see it's in my list. How about if you want to change a focus that you already have and edit it, change driving. So I've allowed certain people in and I have an auto reply for all contacts. That's fine. I have it turned on automatically, which is a good thing. If you use Apple CarPlay and you plug in your phone, it'll automatically go into driving. But let's say I want to customize my screen. I'm going to press edit and choose me another lock screen that I haven't used yet. I think I'll choose this one and I'll press done. So now I've changed my lock screen. I could also create a new lock screen by pressing gallery. So you have a whole list of things to look through just by scrolling down. You can customize it any way you want to wallpaper. And at the top, you're going to see some other choices. Maybe I want to have weather available. I want to know what the weather is going to be like. I don't want anything available because I am driving. So I'm taking off the widgets for the bottom. I just want the time, the date, and the weather. I can also change the look of my uh, time at the top. I can change the color, make it bold. I'm happy with it now. So I'm gonna press add. That is wallpaper pair. And there's my new driving focus. Okay, I've taught you all about using the focus setting so that you can achieve a healthy balance between uh, the routines in your day. And I did promise that if you stayed to the end, I'd give you a bonus tip. So here it is. If there's a time when you're really busy and you need to get into a focus quickly, you can ask Siri to help you do that. This is what you would do. Wake Siri up. I wake Siri up by pressing the button and ask for help. Change to reading focus. And there you go. So you see, Siri is your real personal assistant. Another tip I have for you in settings, when you're creating your focus, if you slide all the way down, you're going to notice a setting for share across devices. And what this allows you to do is if you enable share across devices by tapping here, then what you choose for your focus on your phone will be the same as your iPad or your laptop or your desktop. Your focus will travel with you no matter what device you're on. In settings is called focus status. I have mine off, but if you have it on, then when you get a message, whoever's messaging you will get uh, an update that you have notification silenced. Thank you for watching. Leave me a like, and if there's something you would like to see on my channel, leave me a comment and subscribe so you'll be notified of any new videos I have.